Good morning, everybody. Good morning. How is everybody doing? Hello to those watching the replay. Thanks for joining us. Hello from dis social distancing. We're about to social distance. Well, I think we already are. <laughs> Were you already back? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> this is so, so weird. funny. I know. I don't even know. We'll look back on these someday is all I can Yeah, do. I guess we have to, uh, we forgot our microphone, our really cool microphone, so we're going to try to project. Yell at you. Hey, yeah. Carol. Hello, good morning. I'm glad you can see Hey, us. Jordan. Thanks for hopping on. Oh, my gosh. Hey, Hannah. I'll look for you. It's okay. okay. Look for me because I can't see that. It's good. That's why like, we, we just work together. Hey, Jamie. Say hey when you're hopping on. Give us a wave. Sunny here. Hey, it's April 1st. You know what that means. I actually didn't even cross my mind, but I know what you're going to say. It's April Fool's. My husband just said if anybody plays an April Fool's prank on him, he can't be responsible for his actions. He's not in the mood. I was wondering, has anybody ever like done an April Fool's prank on you? I don't think I have anything that stands out. It's not, I don't really love it. I don't feel like it's like been a part of the framework of my life. Do you, do you love it? No, I, I don't do really. you guys like April Fool's? Uh, yeah, don't like that. Comment below if you have It's had, okay if you do, but yeah. I, don't I don't have a thing for it. Have you had a really awesome April Fool's prank played on you? I know that my siblings, um, when they were little, went out and um, made pancakes for my father. And they made pancakes for my father on April Fool's. They did a couple things on April 1st. But they put string, like dirty string, in his pancakes so he couldn't cut them. <laughs> there was another thing they did involving chocolate chip pancakes using rabbit poop, I think. I don't know. They, okay. I was younger than they were, and I wasn't part of all of that. This so. is, um, yeah, maybe exhibit A of why I don't like because people do weird things. People do weird things. There's perhaps good humored ones, but I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm going to look here really quick. Hey, Laura. Hey, Jerry. Yeah, say hey when you're hopping on. All right, so I'm the mama. And I'm the Mimi. And this is Mama and Mimi in the morning. We come to you live every Wednesday morning at 9.30 Central Standard Time to share tips about health and wellness, to have a lot of fun while we're doing it. Um, we have giveaways each week, so make sure you say hey if you're on here live with us. If you're catching the replay, you're going to want to put a hashtag replay in the comments, and you can get an extra entry by sharing this out. Um, we're going to announce our giveaway winners in a second, and I just feel like uh, every week that we're doing it in this season and what's happening in the world, it's always good to say that like we um, want to be sensitive to the things that we say and the things that we share. We want to be consistent in still showing up. We still want to have fun, but we know that life is complex. Life is complex for everybody right now, so um, we want to be considerate of that as well. Yeah. Our giveaway winners from last week, who's yours? Oh my goodness. We had a man hop on and comment. Michael we know the Schall. man. <laughs> we know the man. He was appropriate and kind and lovely. Michael Shaw, thank you so much for joining us last week. I'm sending you, instead of a roller bottle, I'm sending you, I know this sounds really weird, but it's a DIY sticker book with They're tons, amazing. tons and tons of recipes and stickers. I know that you and Susan use a lot of oils and I know that you make your own things and I'm so grateful for your support. So watch for the envelope in the mail. She kills it when she shares what she's going to give away. Cami Stewart, you're the second giveaway winner and Whitney and I will figure out what we're going to do for you. <laughs> so that's how we do that. So do you want to start off with some testimonials? Sure. You know, I was just going to say that season's coming. Um, I mean, where we are, we still have not as much, but we still have snow on the ground. Um, but the season is coming where people are going to be sneezing, they're going to have scratchy throats, they're going to have watery eyes, they're just going to be miserable. We call them seasonal discomforts. Yeah, it, yeah, because you never know who's watching us. But uh, I, I really was looking through testimonials that have been sent to mm -hmm. me and that have been shared, and so many are, are about the lavender, 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 lemon, and peppermint mm -hmm. uh, used in conjunction really, really help with, can I say histamine release? Sure. At this point, say whatever you want. <laughs> so be ready wherever you are for that season. You can use those three oils together in a roller. You can use them on the bottoms of your feet. You can take them in a capsule, but you can also buy them in a capsule pre-made called Tri-Ease. Mm -hmm. They're actually really small, mm -hmm. easy to take. A little soft gel. Mm-hmm. And uh, so my testimonies today that were rolling on my screen were allergy. Mm. The season it's when your okay. nose runs, allergy season. I'm always so non-compliant, guys. Forgive me. 
um, be ready with the oils that you have. And if you don't have them, reach out to us and ask. The other thing that sometimes people do is lemon, lavender, peppermint in the diffuser. And I have people that put it in um, water and they swish it. Oh, yeah. This seems to be super idea. effective. Mm -hmm. So just some thoughts for you. But yeah, you can do a lot with those three mm -hmm. oils. Mm -hmm. um, one of the things that I wanted to share was um, some DIYs that I think are really fun right now. I am not a big DIY person, but I've been kind of dropping tips to some of my customers or my oilers saying, hey, if you're at home with your kids and you're looking for activities to you, like, well, here's some great things you can do. So some really simple ones, just pull out some empty roller bottles, pull out your oils and say to your kids, let's pick, you know, you wanna make one for your mood. Are you having a birthday coming up and it's not going the way that you thought it would and your heart is sad? Are you missing your friends from school? Are you wanting to say, you know, whatever it might be and then helping them make a roller label it and do that together um, you can make a room spray with them for their bedroom um, you know if they're younger sometimes moms are making like bye bye monster sprays just mm -hmm. like something fun to do and different with things that you have on hand and I was going to say for people who are I'm thinking the older segment that are in their apartments they can't leave um, my dad is in a situation where he can't leave his apartment um, indefinitely and a lot of those people are suffering from anxious feelings because of that. So if you want to bless somebody, think of somebody that lives alone, that literally can't uh, have, it doesn't see people walking by, like we at least can come to this office and see the world kind of going by a little bit, what's left of the world going by. But think about um, older people too and how you can bless them with what you have. Mm -hmm. doTERRA's blog has a DIY section that's amazing. There are like fun soap recipes and lip gloss recipes um, and all sorts of things, cooking recipes if you want to do some fun cooking or making treats. Mm -hmm. So I would really check that out and scroll through there. There's some good ideas. For sure. Great idea. So who's enjoying the, the next idea? <laughs> okay, the last thing we want to talk about mm -hmm. is the idea of for seven for me seven years for my mom now we have been teaching people about how to use oils and natural things in their home to care for them get care for their health yeah. because a lot of times we're working with people that would rather do something at home than go see a doctor do that first and then if they have to go see somebody they will so and now it's different now, we now what is people happening? like my father-in-law who has a wound on his leg who cannot go to the doctor they can't see him um, and he doesn't have a phone, a cell phone, that he can do a telemed appointment and show him his wound. So he's really stuck, right? Yes. So now that it's, there's been this big shift for what we've been preparing for without knowing. We didn't know this was coming. But now you do have in your home what you have a need when you can't go to the doctor for everything anymore. Mm -hmm. Yeah, things have really shifted. So we've been spending a lot of time each day with our customers individually talking through, here's what you can do, or this has come up, here's something proactive, here's something reactive, and really um, leaning into that. Mm -hmm. um, and that is, I, I think, a privilege to be able to do, right? Even though this isn't a great time, but something that we're able to really serve people. Well, it's something we love doing, uh -huh. and we're here for you. We, are, we do have a lot of people reaching out, and sometimes it takes a little while to get back right now because there are so many people, but uh, we have a suggestion. Perhaps you have something you've been wanting to work on. Maybe it's focus. Maybe there's something that you just think I'd like to have different. We talk about that all the time. What would you like to He's have not different? Not wanting to kill your mom every day. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> um, so now we're offering the opportunity, as always, reach out to one of us and say, I'd like to work on a 90 day plan. Chances are great you have in your home what you already need to work on that plan, mm -hmm. which would be our goal, to help you use what you already have. Mm -hmm. If you don't have something in your home and you have a 90 day goal that you'd like to work on, just something to help keep your sanity, yeah. reach out to us, we'll help you get what you need to do that. Yeah, for sure. And some of the things that are coming up that we talked about Sunday night, but I wanna make sure everybody knows about. So we do have, um, two rounds of essential oil made easy class essential oils mm -hmm. made easy classes and they're going to be online and they're going to be really fun and those are for people who are brand new to oils and what we get to do is send you a little care package in the mail that includes some of our favorite oils so you can experience with us those oils as we go through the information mm -hmm. So that's really fun. Those are coming up. Um, if you would like to attend one of those or you know somebody who would be really blessed right now to be able to plug into one of those classes, we'd be happy to drop something into the mail to them as well. Yeah, because we have four of those. We have them in two pairs. Yep. So uh, we are really excited to 
uh, show those to you to new people and we're going to be putting up graphics watch for those yep and then the continuing education series I'm really excited about too so every Saturday morning in April at 9 30 Central Standard Time we will be using zoom um, an online video chat to teach on four different um, topics oils for every age stress sleep and emotions pain management, and toxic free living. So those are gonna be really fun and informative. So if you want the links for any of those, then you just you have to just reach out and ask, right? I And we will help you get and that. And those continuing Ed Saturday mornings are for our existing customers, one of the perks of working with us. What? <laughs> it's open to everybody. Continuing Ed is? Yeah, those four Saturday mornings. Oh, well. I stand corrected. Surprise! Whispers. We'll at talk me. about this after, but there'll be some hair pulling. I didn't. I didn't realize. We'll put on that. an oil and talk it through. Okay. Maybe we'll get back to you. Really, what we're doing next Wednesday? Maybe you should vote. Should we keep it just for customers? Yeah. Or should we open it to everybody? I don't know. I thought that, that I don't know. Where did it? Was I sleeping? How did I miss that? I didn't. <laughs> So that's what I know. Um, so thanks for joining us live. We've got, again, great things coming up in April. If you need help with something or you're just feeling cagey and you need to reach out and you need to video chat with somebody, mm -hmm. we are here um, and totally happy and willing and available to do that, okay? Yeah, maybe we should do like a Zoom call. Look at it. She's giving me the hairy eyeball because I'm ad-libbing. Um, maybe well, this whole thing is an ad. Maybe yeah. we could do a once a week Zoom hop on with your oil questions. Um, and just do something. I'll like do that. you one better. Put your oil questions in the comments and I'll answer them. <laughs> she doesn't want to do that. Anyway, guys, thanks for hopping on. Look for us next Wednesday, 9 30 Central Standard Time. Uh, you never know, though, there might be a pop up in the meantime. Yep. And we're grateful for each and every one of you. Stay safe out there. Have a great day. Take care.